Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie games we're gonna carry on with the horror games and today I have a special one for you guys because this one is going to be a very very creepy one. Although it's gonna look pretty cute I guess I could say it is not a happy game and pun intended because the name of the game is actually happy game and this game right here has actually been created by Amanita Design and the reason I wanted to jump into this one and check it out is because I'm a huge huge fan of Amanita Design and the game that I created if you guys don't know about them or maybe you do know the game that they created but maybe you don't know the name of the developer uh, Amanita Design has actually published previously games such as Machinarium and Samurai's the series and I absolutely love every single one of those games but this one right here, this one just came out and it came out just in time because it is still the Halloween spirit out there and we want to explore some more crazy looking games. And I got to tell you guys, I don't exactly know what to expect out of this one, but I know that happy game is not a happy game and it's going to be absolutely scary. So without further ado, before we jump into this one, let me just take a quick moment here to thank Amanita Design for providing a review copy to share the game with you all. And of course, if you guys are interested in this game and want to grab it for yourselves, go ahead and check out the link down below in the description. And that being said, let's jump straight into it and uh, let's just see what this crazy game is all about. Let's do this. There we go. And of course, it's starting up so creepily. Man, I absolutely love this game. Every single game that Amanita Design has made, I always loved it. Am I putting him back to bed? Oh no, I didn't want you to go to bed, buddy. I want you to. Dang it. I wanted to explore the room a little bit more. Alright, little guy. I guess he's gonna go to sleep here, eh? He's gonna have like a nightmare. Um, he's definitely gonna have a nightmare. What the heck is happening? Ooh, I just woke him up. <laughs> what the? I am not even sure what's happening here. Oh, all right, never mind. I just hit a wall. Let me go the other way around then. <laughs> These sounds he's making, he's so worried. I mean, just imagine waking up in a dark place like this. Oh, look at that. We got a present. The problem is, we do have some shadows over here. Oh, I cannot get to it. I'm guessing I... Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, we gotta open it. What the heck? That's a plushie, but that looks horrible. <laughs> huh. So we added the sh... Wait, what am I doing? Hmm, I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I see that there's a lot of these shadows around. But it doesn't like it can interact with it, so, uh, hmm. <laughs> what the heck is with all these noises, though? This is so scary. I mean, it doesn't like I can move anywhere, so what am I supposed to do? Let me see if I can actually drag my character. Can I? No. The thing is, every single time I'm going with the mouse over these strange shadows, they seem to be disappearing, but my character doesn't want to move anywhere, so... Hmm... Alright, ooh! Ah, he told me to... Drag the bear up there, what the... What is that? <laughs> what is... Happening? Oh, I broke it. Are you kidding me? What? All right, this one is a Matryoshka, of course. I know how these work. Let me try to open them up until we're gonna get the spirit off. And maybe ring the bell? Oh my god. This is just so creepy, dude. Man, the, cre the creativity that Amanita Design has with every single one of their games is just insane. What? <laughs> he just wanted a toy, come on. 
cool. Oh my god, I did not like the look of that. Oh, we got a ball in your turn. Hold up. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting like a big, a little bit of memory here, as we used to play when we were a kid, or maybe smaller. I don't know. Oh my god, of course that's gonna be a bully. Jesus, why? <laughs> why does it have to be always bullies in these games? What the? Uh, can I actually go for that ball? Oh, we can. But of course, it's running away from me. <laughs> Man, my character has such a happy face, though. Oh God, hold up. Um, hmm. So this kind of reminded me of what? It tells me to get a present, but I don't have no presents around here. What do you mean? Oh, so maybe I'm supposed to do that. Turn that on. Oh, there's a present in there. Look at that. <laughs> Can I put that head in there? I mean, it's definitely not going to work, right? Because we need like a teddy bear. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. And if you put this one here, we got it. Now, what am I supposed to do with this head that we just got? Am I gonna get a body for it? Uh, no, that's a monkey body. So that's not the one that I need. There we go. This is the one that I need. And if I put it in there... Hold up, buddy. Put it down. What are you doing? Alright, so we got that one. Uh, what's happening? Is this the monkey? Ugh. It's not working. So if I pull this one up, it's not gonna be anything in there, right? Oh, you know what I gotta do? I think I know, I think I know. What I'm supposed to do here is activate this so that we can get the heads. Hold up. Let's just raise this. Can I raise this up? It's not allowing me to. Let me turn this one on. All right, there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure we cannot grab this one. Hmm. The game is kind of telling me to keep on going, though, but I really wanted to get myself the head for the uh, monkey. Interesting. Yeah, it's not working anyway. Let's just keep on going then. Maybe we're supposed to find the head, yeah, maybe down here and then bring it over. Alright, so let's see if this is going to give me the heads. I mean, it is, right? But uh, how do I lift this over? How do I lift the cloche? <laughs> yeah, can I lift it up? Hold up, maybe if I'm gonna lift the other ones up. This one is also gonna lift up? I don't even know. So let me activate this one. Activate that one. All right, there we go. Ah, there we go, this one is also lifted up. And we got the monkey. All right, buddy, grab it over. Can I grab it? There we go, little guy. <laughs> oh my god. Although everything is so creepy, my character still has this really happy face. It works, look at that. Oh! So I activate all of them. What the? What is even happening? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, of course eventually they broke down. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a ball back again. Alright, let me follow the ball some more. Man, this is such a creepy adventure though. I really knew what I was uh, about to expect though when I first came across this game. What the heck is that? Jesus. I mean, it does look like you can actually move it a little bit. Hmm. 
Hold up, buddy. I want to try to interact with. Maybe we can pull his head. Oh, we can open his mouth. Oh my god. Can I pull his jaw? No, I can only pull this part, I guess. Come on, buddy. Stay open a little bit more. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't like we can pull it way high. Okay. What about the legs? Ah, we can open up the hands like this, I guess. Oh, hold up. This one is not staying up for some reason. Ugh. That's not working. Okay. Oh, I get it. So we're using this like a lever to open up the mouth. Jeez, this is weird. What? What is that? I think I'm also deflating it or more like blowing a balloon in there. Ah, this one works as well now. Look at this. Get out of there, buddy. What are you doing that head? Oh, there we go. We got it. Uh, thanks, I guess. What the? What is this? Oh, there's the ball. Ah, <laughs> uh, I knew it. The freaking bully had it. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's keep on going then. Am I ever gonna get out of this freaking nightmare though? This is really creepy. Alright, so we do have like some traffic lights. Oh, never mind. What is this? Um, what's up with all these floaty hands? Oh, I'm supposed to control her. Are you kidding me? Jesus, this is like a balloon, and I do see some uh, hands on her face there. I have a feeling I need to raise these up. And put her on her face like that, right? Let me just do that. Oh, I missed. Hold up. Let me try to put this one. Oh, there we go. There's one. <laughs> oh my god. Is he gonna rip his face off? I think it is. Uh, how do I pull it though? No, I mean, that. Oh, there we go. We gotta push it up. <laughs> I just pushed the head off. Are you kidding me? Man. And of course, the reason I absolutely love these games that I'm going to design is making is because these are more like puzzle adventure games, right? Although this one is really, really creepy, it does have a lot of puzzles that we got to play with. Um, Is this thing going to start chasing me, though? It kind of feels like it. It doesn't look like I can do it. Oh my god, it's following me. Yep, yep, it is going to chase me. We got to go. We got to go. Come on, buddy. What? Oh my god, so close. No way. <laughs> oh, there's the ball. <laughs> I love it that my character, although anything that's happening right now, he just forgets about it. Every single time he sees the ball, he just forget about it. Let's just keep on rolling after the ball. All right, buddy, we got this. Come on, keep her going. Oh, oh God, these are splatters of blood. I don't like this at all. What just happened? Huh. Uh, I know exactly what we gotta do here. This is like a puzzle, right? We gotta put these together. For example, this one comes there. Um, That's a cube. Can I put these things? No. Oh, God. Uh, I'm guessing I gotta bring a head for that. The duck doesn't have a head. I mean, this is... Yeah, this seems to be the only thing that I needed. So I gotta put this on the horse. Yep, there we go. So we got this one on the horse. What is it doing? 
<laughs> hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next here. Can I pull anything else? Come on, buddy. Keep on pulling. Oh! You know what? I think we gotta pull this, like, really far away. Oh, never mind. The more you pull it, the more aggressive it got. Alright, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Next up, we got a bottle. Uh, this one is probably for the train by the looks of it. Yep, there we go. Uh, the train is getting me... Ooh, that was a mushroom. Next up, we got a book and an apple with a needle on it. Seriously? Man, this game is creepy. Alright, we got a paw and a hammer and some nails. Come on, buddy, give me more. Give me more, buddy. Come on. Huh. We got a smile. And a coffee cup. Or more like a teacup. Oh, there we go. We got a key next. Awesome. Uh, for this key, we got to use it with this. There we go. Uh, next up, if I turn this one around, it's going to do what? Oh. Oh, he brought me something. What the? Is that like a bunny head? It definitely is, and I think it's going to go with this one. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Come on, buddy. Pull it. <laughs> Hold up, something's not right. I think I'm supposed to get this car to move its position. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, we got the bunny heads. What if I give it to him now? Come on, buddy. Grab it. There you go. Pull it. Or, I think I'm gonna do this so that I can actually pull him. Hmm. Come on! Just rip it off already! <laughs> there we go, we got it, we got it. All right, now that we got the head, let me put it right over here. Oh, never, oh, never mind. That's a puppy head, not a bunny head. What? What is this? All right, hold on to it, as I'm gonna grab some more stuff around here. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We need, I think, this one for, yep, for this thing right over here. There we go. We got the drum going. What is that? <laughs> You're getting like a small critter. Ah, that's a bunny head. That's the one that I wanted. Come here, buddy. Give it to me. All right, you got to hold on to that. <laughs> he doesn't want to let go. <laughs> oh, my God. The way we threw it away, though, that was so funny. All right, there we go. We got the bunny going. Uh, oh, and the bunny is giving me another head. Is this for this? I don't think so. What the heck? These heads are so weird. All right, this one goes here. Perfect. So, this one is a doll. What the? Oh, my. What is happening? <laughs> All right, I think I got a cube for... Or a piece of the, for this cube. There we go. Oh, my God. Please don't make me solve the Rubik's Cube. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna do that, actually. <laughs> oh, he's got a duck head. Huh. Alright, well, the duck head goes right over here. Perfect. That worked. Uh, oh, God. Is he bleeding? What the? Look at the splatters of blood. What is that? Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Hmm, I cannot pull it off. Uh, let me get more spiders of blood. Can I? <laughs> oh, my God. Hold up. I think I'm going to... Can I get another one? No, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, we definitely can pull it off. All right. And next up, can I grab his red nose? <laughs> oh, never mind. Look at that. It gave me the cube, the last piece of the puzzle that we got to add here.
so confused right now. So he showed me a light. Light up the light, I put it in. Ah, I think I get it. I think I get it. Hold up. Let me activate this guy again. Let's wait for him to do his thing. Come on, throw it in there. No, I messed it up. Oh, there we go. We got it. So that's one. And now if I open it up, yeah, there we go. We got it. All right. We got to go for the next one next. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. All right, there we go. We got the second one. Perfect. And next up, of course, we're going to need the light. Oh, my God. He's starting to get more and more creepy here. All right, buddy. Which one's going to be? Left or right? No! No! <sighs> Dang it. I kind of missed it up. Hold up, hold up. I think I know what he's going to do here. So, first of all, I'm going to have to go with this one. But I got to wait for the right moment to activate it. Maybe now? There we go. And now? We got it. There we go. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, God. What the... What? Who the heck made this game, dude? This is so creepy. Every single time I'm going through these very creepy games, I keep on thinking about... What kind of person is making these games? <laughs> oh my... Are you kidding me? Oh, please don't get impaled. You know, Spike. Come on. Oh, never mind. Look at that. We're back. And we also got the Bulgas. Seriously? Oh. Is that my imaginary friend? <laughs> what the... He put me back to sleep to get back into the nightmare. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, and I think we're back to another memory. That memory was about the ball, and this one's probably gonna be about the bunny. And we're just about to see what happened here. Oh, please don't fall down and drown. <gasps> yep, that's exactly what's going to happen. Come on. Oh, never mind. We lost the bunny. <laughs> what? Man, this looks so chill, though. Look at this place. Are you kidding me? What is this even? Oh my god, such a creepy game. I love it. Alright, anyway guys, you know what? I think this is going to be the end of the first episode of Happy Games. And it is kind of a lot saying that if you guys enjoy this and want to see more like this, do make sure you hit on the like button below. But of course, if you did enjoy this, if you are a creepy guy just like me, uh, make sure you leave a like down below as I'm going to keep on going with this series here. And uh, try to see where this game is going to end. I'm not really sure what to expect here. But I kind of love the games that Amnita Design are making. Uh, this is definitely one of the first ones, one of the first horror games that I see from them. And so far, it's pretty spooky. Of course, it's not really going to be like that scary having me jump out of my chair. But I really like to see what's going on in the minds of uh, people making these games. I absolutely love it. All right. Anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. If you guys want to grab a copy of this game for yourselves, there are going to be a few links down below in the description. You can go ahead and check them out. And until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye!